My name is Yvonne, and welcome to the RV Cooking Show, where I can share with you my RV adventures and my love for preparing regional specialty foods from all across the country, right here in my RV. Today we're going to talk about the Olympic National Park, and then we're going to prepare some delicious salmon and foil on the grill. The Olympic National Park is located in the northwest corner of Washington State and is truly one of the gems of our national park system. When you visit the Olympic National Park, you can visit the mountains, the seashore, or even a temperate rainforest. The jumping off point for the Olympic National Park is in Port Angeles. Stop at their visitor center, explore, pay a $15 entrance fee, and drive to Hurricane Ridge in the heart of the Olympic Mountains. At Hurricane Ridge, you can hike and enjoy the spectacular mountain vistas. About 70 miles west of Port Angeles is Rialto Beach. Make sure you check the tide tables and head there at low tide. Walk about a mile down the shore and you'll be in the beautiful Rocky Cove area where you can explore tide pools full of sea stars, sea anemones, and beautiful rock arches. Just amazing. About 90 miles from Port Angeles is the Ho Rainforest, which is another amazing place to visit. The Ho Rainforest is a temperate rainforest that receives 25 feet of rain every year. When you get there, you'll understand it's green and lush, full of moss. Oh, it is amazing. It's certainly something that you've got to see. We stay just outside of Port Angeles in a little park called Elwha Dam RV Park. The Elwha Dam is one of two dams in the area that are going to be deconstructed beginning in 2008. It's one of the two largest ecosystem restoration projects the National Park System has taken on. Very interesting. Another gem of the Pacific Northwest is salmon. Today we're going to make a delicious salmon in foil. We're going to cook it on the grill. It's very simple. It's very delicious, is what I would call company food. Here's how we do it. We need salmon fillets, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of dill spice, some lemon sliced, and some onion sliced. We're going to put all of this on top of the salmon, roll it up in the foil, and put it on the grill. Let me show you how it's done. We've got our salmon fillet, which has been washed and patted dry, and then laid skin side down on a large piece of foil. By the way, when you purchase salmon, you want to look for wild, fresh salmon. There's some controversy right now with contaminants and farm-raised salmon, so make sure you get the wild salmon from the Pacific Northwest. It can't be beat. Okay, we're going to top our salmon with a little bit of mayonnaise. If you don't care for mayonnaise, you can top it with a little bit of olive oil as well. This just basically keeps the moisture in and adds a little bit of flavor. Just a little bit will do it. I'm going to spread it all over our salmon. And one thing to keep in mind is once the salmon is cooked and you take it out of the foil, you will still see the mayonnaise on it. I thought the mayonnaise would just meld right into the fish, but it doesn't. And you'll see that later. Okay, on top of the mayonnaise, we're going to sprinkle some dill very liberally. Gives it a lovely spice. Dill and salmon are perfect together. Get it in all the little corners all over the fish. Next we're going to put a layer of sliced lemon. The lemon is sliced at about a quarter inch thick. And we just want one single layer of lemon on top of our salmon, on top of our dill, to add a nice tasty citrusy flavor. It's okay if there's seeds in there, because you're not going to eat the lemon. The final layer on our salmon is going to be onion. You want to cut your onion anywhere from an eighth to a quarter inch thick. And I like to use white onion, sweet onion, or yellow onion. We want just one single layer of onion. In the past, I've tried a whole bunch of onion on the top, thinking that would be a delicious side vegetable. But when you get too much onion on it, it just simply doesn't cook properly. So one layer will just about do it. All right, we're getting ready to wrap this up now. What we're going to do is we're going to make a pouch for our salmon. We're going to wrap it where it still has a little air pocket inside, but it's airtight on the outside. It's going to take two ends, it's going to bring them together just like a tent, and we're going to fold them. 
I'm going to put a couple folds, maybe three folds in it. And as we put the folds in, we're going to push down, make it nice and tight, a really good seal. I'm going to turn it around and we're going to seal up the sides. Nice and tight. Same thing on this side. I'm going to just seal this up nice and tight so all the air stays in. We'll basically steam cook itself and it'll be delicious. Okay, I think we're ready to go put this on the grill. Okay, it's grilling time. We use our little RV cube, but you can use a freestanding gas grill or even a charcoal grill to cook your salmon in foil packets. Our grill is set to medium heat. What we're going to do is open it up, put our packets right on the grill grate. Then we're going to close it up, let it cook. The air pockets that we've created inside our salmon foil packets will help steam the fish, while the lemon and the onion are aromatics and they'll add a delicious flavor. We're going to cook this on medium heat about 20 minutes or so, and in 20 minutes we will be ready for a delicious salmon dinner. Well, it's been 20 minutes and our salmon is done. I've taken it off the grill and brought it inside here. Our next step is to open up the pouch, remove the skin, and serve the salmon. I'm going to serve my salmon today with a delicious spicy green salad that I picked up at the farmer's market yesterday and some delicious jasmine rice. By the way, if you haven't used these kinds of rice products that you see in stores everywhere today, you really should. It's a nifty little package of fully cooked rice. All you do is tear it open just a little bit for a vent hole, place it in the microwave for 60 to 90 seconds, and mm, you have some fully cooked brown rice, jasmine rice, got lots of different kinds. It's great. It's about $1.60 in the store, so if you see it, try it. Okay, we're going to open our salmon packet here, and we want to keep in mind that it's hot inside. It's very possible that some steam could escape as we open it, so be careful. Don't let it burn you. Okay. Ah, beautiful. Just beautiful. There's some juice down in the bottom. We don't necessarily want the juice, but it's good. It's cooked up nice. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the onion. I'm going to put that on our plate because that's a delicious side vegetable. I'm going to use a fork to do that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hot. Okay. Very nice. We're going to take the lemon off. We aren't going to serve the lemon that's been on the salmon with the dish, but we are going to serve a wedge of lemon with it. Now, some people do like the skin of the salmon, and you could serve your salmon with the skin on it, but I don't eat the skin. So what I do is I like to take the skin off so my guests can enjoy every delicious morsel on their plate. I'm going to do that with some spatulas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my fish over. Sometimes the skin sticks to the foil. Other times I need to scrape it off with the other spatula. Let's see how it goes this time. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's just going to pull straight off. We've got the skin stuck to the foil. Then there's a little bit of skin left on the salmon here. I'm going to use my spatula just a little bit to scrape it off. Again, so every single morsel on the plate is edible. Okay, we're going to turn this over. Look at that. Looks delicious. Right on our plate. Okay, so there we have it. We've got our delicious salmon that was cooked on the grill in foil, the aromatic onions that were on top of it, a delicious fresh green salad, and some jasmine rice. I think we're ready for dinner. I'm starved and it looks delicious. Thanks for joining me on the RV Cooking Show. I hope to see you again and happy travels.